welcome to the Rock Your Best Life podcast. With me today, I have my good friend, Liz Landin. She is a business strategy coach, um, and she is the founder of the She Connects Worldwide and the creator of the VIP Strategy Slay Accelerator. Welcome to the show, Liz. Hey, I'm so excited to be here. Thank you for having me. Of course, I'm so excited to talk about this topic today um, because, you know, this is the Rock Your Best Life podcast and it's all about rocking your best life and who better to help us rock our best life than a business coach, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so why don't we start with a little bit about you, about your background, um, if you could just tell us your story about how you came to be a business uh, strategy coach um, and you know what were you doing before and what led you to this to this awesome career awesome yes so uh, okay so I live in Las Vegas from not Nevada let's start there I live in Las Vegas I spent many years in Colorado as well and um, my my kind of backstory is that I worked for 12 years in a national nonprofit organization they were actually based out of Denver and um, for a good portion of, of those years, I was in a leadership level position where I was working on many, many projects all at one time, multi-million dollar contracts. Um, I loved what I did. It was great. I loved the people I worked with. Um, it was really, you know, it was a stable job. It was very nice. But at the end of the day, I knew that it, it wasn't what I really wanted to be doing. It wasn't my I don't want to say my calling. It definitely wasn't my calling, but it wasn't really where my interests lie or anything like that. And so I finally, finally made the decision in 2018 that I was going to exit out of that nine to five eventually. And so I pretty much took some time to get really clear on what it was that I wanted to do, where were my strengths, what things do I enjoy doing, all of that. And then I created a plan and then I worked the hell out of that plan for 12 months. I gave myself 12 months. I didn't just quit my job, even though I kind of wanted to. Mm -hmm. uh, I gave myself kind of the, the flexibility to stay and keep my income, but then also build my side hustle on this um, at the same time. And so I gave myself those 12 months, worked the hell out of my calendar for 12 months. And then in December of 2019, I was able to exit out of my uh, nine to five and go full time into my own business. And um, I guess I'll just say for anybody who may be in that similar situation right now that it, you know, it wasn't, wasn't easy. Um, it was definitely scary and I didn't have everything figured out and um, that was totally okay. It was better to do something. <laughs> it was just at a point where in my gut, I just knew I had to do something and I couldn't stay in the situation I was in anymore. So I really had to take, take the leap of faith, um, along with some planning and, and make it happen. Wow. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. And I think I can definitely relate to something like that too. And it's, it's, it's hard, um, you know, when you know you want to do something, but you're, you're kind of like obligated or so a lot of people feel stuck, I think, in, in our nine to five jobs, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I think we're stuck and sometimes we just don't have the, the you know, the luxury to just leave. We've got to, we've, we need that income coming in and all of that. So I think it's, um, it's a combination of things for people, or maybe we just don't believe we can do it, right? We, we feel like, uh, you know, I don't fully believe in myself yet to be able to do these things. So I think there's a lot of things that go on that keep us from moving forward. It took me many, many years <laughs> to finally yeah. commit to doing that. So, um, so it's, it's, I will say though, for anybody who's in that position, um, best decision I ever made, best decision I ever made, hands down. I don't regret it at all. There's not a single day that I don't wake up that I'm not like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited <laughs> um, that I'm not having to like log in and, you know, I'm still putting in the work. I'm still putting in the hours, you know, all of that, but it just comes from a different place now. So it's kind of, it's, it's exciting. Yeah, that's really exciting. <laughs> 
So, um, what now? What um, advice would you give for anybody who is maybe in that situation right now, um, who is still stuck and they don't know maybe what the first steps would be to start their side hustle or or their passion, you know, or something that they want to do that would light them up. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess I'll just uh, clarify to everybody what I do exactly. So oh, yes, I'm, a, yes, I'm a business <laughs> strategy and action coach. So that is what I do. And I work with entrepreneurs to help sort through all the thoughts and ideas that we have going on inside of our amazing brains to um, get it organized and prioritized and get clarity around what is it that you want to do and then how are you going to make it happen, right? So, so what is the step-by-step -step action plan you're going to create so that you have that as guidance? So knowing that's what I do now, that's my business, um, I typically, a lot of the clients I work with, it's... Uh, it's because they're feeling overwhelmed, they're feeling kind of scattered, and uh, there's just so many thoughts and ideas going on, and there's lots of shiny things out there, especially now with so much going on online and social media, and we're on our phones all day long, that we're many times pulled in so many different directions. Um, should I be doing this? Maybe I should do that. So-and-so is doing this. And so it's so easy to just get overwhelmed and be like, I don't even know where to start. So my suggestion would be, I guess, first and foremost, I think it's super valuable to just start with getting all the thoughts and ideas you have in your brain out. Just get them out of your head. <laughs> because um, we, we like to just keep things stored in there and it's not effective. It is not an effective tool to do that. And that's what makes us feel anxious and overwhelmed. So I do something called a mind sweep. And that comes from, that term comes from David Allen. He has a, a method called the getting things done method, which I've studied and I love it. And uh, another way you can say it is a brain dump. It's basically just get all the thoughts and ideas out and just put it down on a piece of paper, one piece of paper, not a whole bunch of scattered papers, but one piece of paper. And it doesn't matter what it is. If it's personal, if it's professional, it doesn't matter. You have to plan a birthday party. You have to buy curtains. Like it doesn't matter. If, if you're thinking about it, write it down. And that's just a great place to start. And then you can kind of see all the things in one place. Um, and then there's kind of a little bit of a process after that to help you sort through it. I have a free document on my website, lizlandine.com. You can download it and it walks you through exactly how to do a mind sweep. So at the end of it, you could clearly see, oh, these are the things I should be focusing on right now. And maybe these are things I'll focus on later. So that's always one of my first things I work on with clients or I recommend to people to do. And you just immediately feel better after it's done. You like feel like a weight's been lifted. Um, the other thing I would say is get, get clear on what you want. So I feel like you know, it's so easy to just feel like, oh, I'm not where I want to be. I'm not doing the things I want to be doing. And I'm not happy with my current situation. But we don't really take the time to get clear on, well, what, what do I want? Or like, what is my aim? And once we know that, once we're clear on kind of some goals or where we want to be or what our life might you know, look like if we were able to just make that happen, once we're clear on that, then we make a plan, right? So for me, it's all about making the plan. It's about getting clear on what you want and making a plan. And that's just kind of getting clear on how. So once you know the what, then get clear on the how am I gonna do it? And that's just taking some time, sit down, think about it. What are the steps I need to take to make this happen? Um, baby steps, you know, sub steps, whatever you wanna call it, but step by step, I'm gonna, you know, um, outline exactly how I'm going to make this happen. And I think if you can just focus on those couple of things, just they're big things. I'm not saying they're easy things. They're simple, but they're, they're big things. So, you know, first get all the thoughts and ideas out. So you're not so scattered and you, 
can see a little more clearly what are the things to focus on, then get clear on what is it I really want, what's essential to me, my family, my business, my life, and then create a plan to make it happen. And then I guess I'll say lastly, one of the most important pieces is you got to make it happen. So <laughs> implementation mm-hmm. is, is really important. It's all about action. You got to then move it forward. Yeah, that's really great advice. I agree. <laughs> and what, and you have a saying that I always hear you say, a, what is it? A goal without a plan? Is um, just a wish? <laughs> it's just a wish. Yeah. yeah. Right. So I, lo- I really love that. Cause I think like yeah. for you, for years, I was stuck in that. I had all these thoughts, all these ideas all the time. And then I was like, they would, you know, they would be there for a while and then I would lose them, you know, cause I wasn't writing them down. I wasn't documenting them at all, <laughs> you know? And so I was, I want, you know, and I think a lot of people fall into this boat where they want to do all these things and they talk about doing all these things. And then there's just no action, you know? Yeah. Yeah, the action is, it's queen or king. It's, that's what's going to manifest it. So yes, you need to take time to get clear on what is my dream and doing some intention setting. And that's powerful. Like you need to let the universe know what it is you want so it can help you. It's really important. And that's really, you know, that's the first step. And that's why helping to get all the thoughts out and get them organized and creating your, your goals or getting clear on your dream is important. But then from there, those things aren't just going to happen on their own. They, they don't. You have mm-hmm. to put in the work. You have to, you know, do the things that need to be done to make them happen. So, um, and it, it, I think that can feel overwhelming. It's like, oh, now I have to do all these things. But again, I feel like if you really break down your plan into just steps, then don't worry about the 50 other things that you have listed. Just what's the next thing you have to do? to move it forward and just focus on that. And then after that's done, all right, what's what's the next thing now I need to work on to move this forward? And eventually, as long as you're making consistent progress, you're gonna get there. It might take you a little bit longer, but you're gonna get there and you're at least um, making progress towards whatever it is that you want. Yeah, I totally believe all that too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, even just for me with just this podcast, I didn't have... I really didn't have a plan, but (laughs) what I did, and it was really scary is I just put myself out there. I put it out there that I was creating a podcast. And then all of a sudden it was like the universe heard me. And I had all of these messages in my inbox, like people wanting to do interviews. And, and I, and I was, uh, I was like, oh, I guess I got to do this now. (laughs) That's right. (laughs) Yeah, I love that. But that was action. You know what I mean? You put it out there and then everybody could have messaged you and you could have been like, oh, I'm not ready yet. Mm -hmm. I'm not, you know, whatever. And and just left it at that. And instead you were like, oh, crap. Okay, I guess I got to make this happen now. Let's do it. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Because I think I um, for me personally, and um, I think a lot of people struggle with this is I had this really bad habit of procrastination. And saying I was going to do all these things, never doing them and not, like you said, taking the action. Um, And I was, it was out of fear. Yeah. And maybe fear of success and, you know, fear of putting myself out there. But this was something I was really passionate about. I am passionate about, you know, and, and so I think, you know, once we, like you said, we get clear and then we put ourselves, you know, we put the action out there. And we just do one thing at a time. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Just that alone is a powerful tool. So, I mean, that's, yeah, that's really important. And I love, I love the podcast you put together and thank you. Yeah. And and sometimes that's just how it works where it's like, oh my gosh, this is happening now. (laughs) And you just got to run with it. You got to run with the momentum. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, that's the biggest lesson I've learned is I'm just, and the message I want to tell everybody is just like, I'm scared as, you know, I'm scared to do these things, but I still do them. And in the, in the past, I would have, it would have stopped me, but now yeah. I'm just doing them. And then I am having, you know, I'm already reaping the rewards. I'm already yeah. having a good outcome. 
So just think about what you can do. Like if you just, you know, if you just do it, like think about all the amazing things that could happen. You, you just don't know um, yeah. until you try, right? <laughs> yeah, that's it. Well, um, well, let's go into, you know, um, the, let's talk about um, what are the kind of people that you do help? Um, you know, I know you help entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, what other kind of, you know, people that you find come to you a lot? Yeah, so I work um, so mostly with entrepreneurs or people who have a business of some kind. So whether I've worked with everyone from, you know, photographers to fitness trainers to um, uh, CEOs of uh, nonprofits and so on and so forth. So the whole gamut, um, entrepreneurs to executives and um you know, I really look for, and like my ideal client would be somebody who's feeling that overwhelm. They're feeling pulled in so many directions um, and they just need somebody to sit down with them to help sort through, through it all. Um, and so, you know, that's really my sweet spot is um, being able to help somebody just feel like, just less overwhelmed by it all. And like you have a plan that you have that direction, that guidance to help you to get up in the morning and not immediately feel dread, but instead feel like excited because I know exactly what I'm, for the most part, I know exactly what I'm going to be doing today. These are the things I have planned for today. I'm not going to worry about the Again, the 50 other things I have to do, those are scheduled out in my calendar for another day. Mm -hmm. Today, I'm going to focus on these things. And it just gives you such a sense of um, peace and power, I think, when you feel organized, when you mm -hmm. really have things just dialed in and you can, um, you know, kind of approach your day a little bit differently and feel like you have a little bit more control over, uh, you know, your time and your resources and your energy and your effort and all that stuff. So that's mostly who I work with and uh, kind of how I work with them. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> so, oh, what do you, what do you think is um, one of the things that is, that's holding people back from starting, like starting their own business or just starting yeah. just something small, like maybe a side hustle or a passion project? Like, what do you think is holding people back from that? Yeah, well, I think you touched on some of it. And I think that that's probably what a lot of people deal with. Um, one, I think one part of that is many times we think we have to just have it all figured out before we can start. And I was just thinking about this the other day, and it's kind of like going to the gym. I feel like a lot of people will say like, um, oh, I'm not, I'm not in shape enough yet to go to the gym or like I do CrossFit. And so, you know, we get people that'll come in and be like, oh, I'm not, you know, I'm not ready to start CrossFit yet. And I'm like, no, no, you're never ready. You're never ready for any of that. Like you just start. Um, so yeah. you don't like not do it because you're not ready, right? Like that's how you're going to get ready. So I love that whole phrase of ready is a lie. And I do believe that I do, as I've already said, I love a plan. I love getting really clear on goals because we need to know what we're aiming for. We need to know what success looks like for the most part. Um, so I'm not saying just jump into things blindly necessarily, but you know, if you've taken some time to get clear on just, just even acknowledging, I know I'm not where I want to be right now, or I really do want to start this side business. I don't know all the things yet. I don't have it all figured out. I don't know who my ideal client is. I don't know, you know, how I would describe this to somebody. That's fine. Um, but move it forward because just like you said with the podcast, your example with what happened with your podcast, action brings clarity. So mm -hmm. yes, you'll get some clarity by knowing what your dreams and goals are and making a plan. But the true clarity comes when you implement. The true clarity comes through action. So again, just like what you did, uh, okay, you, you did some action and then you realize, oh, wait, people are excited about this podcast. I need to start doing this podcast. You got some clarity real quick. 
So <laughs> yeah. Um, and then you made it happen. So it's like, I think just focusing on uh, progress over perfection. I think that's another thing that holds a lot of us back is, you know, fear of failure, fear of success, but also just judgment, right? What are people going to think? What are people going to say? What if this doesn't work out? What if I don't say it the right way? All of these things that I feel like really can hold us back and, and certainly hold me back even now, you know, I'll still be having those, you know, I still have those thoughts in my head. Mm-hmm. Um, but really, I, I try my best to just say, Liz, done is better than perfect. Move this shit forward. Keep it going forward. And I'm not saying do sloppy work, but at some point it's like, you just got to move forward on things. And so I think focusing on progress over perfection is really important. And then also I love to tell people, mind your own damn business. So (laughs) if you are starting a business, it doesn't even matter if you're not starting a business, even in life, mind your own damn business. Like, yeah, (laughs) you know, there's so (laughs) many shiny things out there. Like we've talked about already. And Mm -hmm. I fell down this rabbit hole when I first started my business where I was on like Instagram all the time. And there were a couple people doing not what I do necessarily, but close enough. And I was following like, Oh, what are they doing? And all this. And gosh, it stressed me out and it made me feel like defeated and deflated on certain days. And like, I'm not doing enough. Uh, why, why am I not as successful as they are not realizing they started their business years before me and all of this. So I like to just remind myself now, mind your own damn business, like kind of put the blinders on in some ways. Yes, you want to see what other people are doing and you can take gems from everything, but uh, kind of just get in your zone, stay in your lane, do your work, you have your plan laid out or you know the things you need to do and focus on those things and just keep moving it forward. Even on the days that you're like, oh, I'm not making progress or I'm not where I want to be. It's, it's fine. We all have those thoughts. I think that's part of the entrepreneurial journey Uh, you are not going to get away with feeling great all of the time. So just, uh, appreciate the journey for what it is and, um, keep things moving forward, focus on progress. And then, um, you know, don't get distracted by all the shiny things. Yeah. That's really great advice. I agree with all that. (laughs) Um, question. Um, so you're a business coach. Um, so how do you think hiring, you know, if I were to hire you as my business coach, um, or just, you know, anyone who may be looking for, you know, a business coach to help them, how do you think that could, you know, help somebody? Yeah, their, so, you know, yeah, I, um, I love thinking about being a coach as kind of holding a safe space for someone's transformation, for their growth, their expansion. Um, And so I think the power in having a coach, a business coach, if you're, whether or not you're just starting out or you're kind of a little bit further in your journey, is there's so much power in having somebody who just has your back right? Who's like, your success is my success. And many times as entrepreneurs, we are in this alone (laughs) and it can get very lonely feeling. (laughs) And so to have somebody that, you know, a believes in you, uh, maybe even before you believe in yourself fully and also somebody that maybe can help ask you the right questions or reframe certain things so that you can Uh, come to your own decisions. I'm not here to tell you all the answers, um, but I'm here to help you find the, find the right answers for you. And so I think that's really helpful. Um, And then again, just not feeling so alone in the process. And then, you know, when I first started my business, I hired a business coach um, Mm -hmm. and it was a great decision. It was um, not an easy decision. Uh, It was a big chunk of money and, Um, I, you know, was still working my side hustle and all that, but I hired a business coach and it was awesome. I mean, it was really the catalyst I needed to move my business forward, like really committed to my business to say, all right, I've, I'm committing to this process. I am committing to my business, to myself, to my dreams, to my goals, to make them happen. Um, because I've just invested like I have. 
uh, mm -hmm. which is really important. And so it really was the catalyst for me to keep, um, keep myself accountable and then also to get the support I needed so that I knew I'm on the right track. Okay. This is, this is, you know, the plan I have and to have somebody to kind of talk through all that. So I think that's really, um, the benefit some of the, some of the benefits of having a coach and that's a coach in anything, right? I mean, I yeah. think that's a coach. If you are looking, I hire coaches for fitness and all kinds of stuff, a uh, Facebook ads coach, and, you know, I have all kinds of coaches. Um, but I think it's really to hold you accountable, to give you the support you need to have your back. And so that you just don't feel so alone and you get that clarity that you're, that you're looking for. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. I think it can really help. Um, and yeah, like you said, it's kind of like, it's like with any area, you know, like a health coach, you know, or a fitness coach, or if you are, if it's something that you really um, are serious about and, you know, you're not getting results just on your own or you're not focused enough or, you know, it just, it, it, it can upgrade you. I think of it like that too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's a great way to think of it. Yeah. Um, so have you seen a shift in your business over the last year to more like online or, um, or more people starting up businesses? Have you seen yeah. a shift at all with that? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, um, I think most stuff, right, because of COVID, it's online now. And so um, whether you wanted to or not, most people had to pivot, pivot mm -hmm. and get their business online. So yeah, there's been a big shift. Um, and, and I think um, I think what I'm starting to see now is people are ready to, they're starting to feel more ready to get back to in-person. And they're mm -hmm. craving that connection. They're craving that kind of just face-to-face -face interaction and, and connection. Um, but I also think we're still like liking the online stuff as well. So I think there's a nice, there's going to be a good combination of them mm -hmm. um, at some point. Like for me, I know I used to, to have live, I used to have live events. I mm -hmm. used to do my She Connects events live in Las Vegas and Los Angeles and they were amazing and they were still good online, but they just weren't quite the same. They didn't yeah. have the same impact. So for something like that, I'm ready to get back to doing some in-person stuff, but mm -hmm. for, um, you know, the business side of things and being able to work with people one-on-one -on -one all over the globe, I wouldn't yeah. have been able to do that. Right. So yes, uh, for myself and for other people I'm working with, absolutely, I'm seeing a shift. And then um, I think, yeah, most most people are really doing their stuff online now and can get a lot of that done. And I, and I think when COVID hit, um, I had just kind of started my business, honestly. I mean, like really full time into it. So it was yeah. a little scary. But for me, it, it ended up being really great timing because so many people felt like, oh, this might be a good time for me to pursue that, that um, side hustle I've been thinking about for so long, but haven't had time to do it. Or, mm -hmm. you know, maybe they lost their job or whatever it was, and now they were able to, to maybe pursue something else. So the timing for me worked out pretty good in that uh, I feel like a lot of people started businesses this past year and, um, and we're looking for that added kind of support and clarity. So, yeah, I know. I saw that as well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it, it actually, like you said, like a lot of people, um, were using that time to kind of start something that they didn't they they couldn't or they felt like they couldn't before and that's yeah. exactly what I did I went back to school um right at the start of it in last February <laughs> and yeah and because I had all this you know I had all this time and thankfully I was able to work my my day job um but it just gave me that extra push you know that I wanted to start this health coaching you know business for myself yeah yeah well, tell us a little bit more about, you know, I know all about the She Connects network that you have, and I think it's amazing, but um, for people that don't know, what is that all about? 
Yeah, so She Connects Worldwide is, right now we're online, so it's a private Facebook group. You can go to Facebook, but in She Connects Worldwide, uh, and it's basically a community of women who are inspired and motivated, and we are uh, there to support each other on this journey and roller coaster ride that is entrepreneurship. Uh, it's women from all over the globe and at all different levels, whether they have a business or not. Um, and uh, so the Facebook group, we do all kinds of trainings in there, free trainings, business strategy. Uh, I have a master class where I'll bring guest speakers on to talk about different things. And uh, there's also some opportunities to just network and all of that. So, um, and then again, she connects originally started as just in person. We were really not online at all. And um, we would meet monthly and just come together to really support each other. What are your challenges? What are you struggling with? What are your successes? And uh, my, my hope is that we will uh, at some point within the year or so get back to doing some of those those in-person meetings and, and then expanding them now that we have this much larger network than when we started with people all over the globe. Um, I'd love to see these She Connects meetings happening all over the place. Yeah, that sounds like the perfect setup for, um, like you said that you, you had like the live events before, like in Vegas. Would you ever consider like doing it like worldwide and like having other people like um, hold them or? <laughs> yeah, so I actually do have uh, an affiliate program. Oh um, yeah, that's what I was anybody's, thinking. Affiliate. Yeah, yeah. If anybody's, I don't talk about it that much because there's so many things to talk about. But yeah, I know. <laughs> um, if anybody's interested in holding a she connects or starting your own chapter, it's a chapter program. Um, you can go to sheconnectsworldwide.com. Um, there's a directory on there. Again, it's kind of in the beginning stages, but mm -hmm. um, uh, there's a chapter program we have. So anybody can start their own chapter and hold their own She Connects meetings and get the support you need um, on my end uh, to help get you up and running really streamlined, really easy. I've already done all the work, you know, putting together, <laughs> putting wow. together these in persons. I just basically share it with you so you can have a really successful group of your own, your own She Connects group. Yeah, that's, a, I didn't know you did that. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, check it out. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really great. Um, and then you do have your own signature program. And I know that you just opened up the doors for that just recently. Um, would you mind telling us a little bit about that? What's that all about? Yeah, absolutely. So my signature program is the VIP Strategy Slay Accelerator Program. It's a five week online live group program that I run a couple times a, a year. And um, it's my favorite, favorite program and how I work with people. Um, it's just an awesome program and it's perfect for anybody who's at that point where they are basically what we talked about. You're feeling overwhelmed by all the things, um, but you're ready to act on it, right? So this is like, we're gonna move from dreaming into doing and you're ready to move forward because it is an accelerator program. So we move a little bit faster than if I was doing like a one-on-one -on -one program with somebody. And uh, basically at the end of it, you leave with a full 12 month plan of action. So you, we've identified your goals. What are the things you're gonna focus on? And step-by-step, step, how are you gonna make that happen? What are your, what's the timeline? We're gonna work with you getting it in your calendar and all of that good stuff. Um, so it's a pretty tremendous program. The, the feedback I've received from past clients that have attended is really awesome. Um, and it's just a great way, I think, especially as we're kind of coming into June here, we're like six months into, <laughs> into 2021, yeah. which is crazy to think about for me that like we're almost halfway through this year. Um, and so, you know, a lot of people are reaching out and feeling like, oh my gosh, where did the last six months go? I thought, you know, New, New Year's came around and had all these plans and goals and all that, and they're not quite where they want to be. So they're, they're really ready to kind of take it to that next level, get really crystal clear on things, and then 
um, outline that plan and, and make it happen. So I like to call that program the art of making shit happen because that's, nice. what, it, that's what it does. You will see results from that program. Yeah, that sounds like an amazing program. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I love it. And you get um, a bonus session with me one-on-one -on -one at the end as well. So I love being oh, able nice. to just sit down with uh, sit down with everybody. You get individual attention throughout the course. You know, sometimes group programs, you're not really sure, but mm -hmm. this group program, I make sure everybody is like, all right, Rosa, I want to see your, uh, your draft plan. Let's pull it up and we review it and go over it and all that stuff. So it's pretty interactive as well. Wow. That sounds awesome. <laughs> so if someone did want to work with you, um, how would they go about doing that? Yeah. So go to lizlanding.com. That's probably the best way. You can go to my programs page and see the different programs I have. So the accelerator, I run a mastermind group, which is amazing group of women. Uh, if you're really looking for just that little bit of extra support and accountability each month, um, we have a really fantastic group of ladies that, that meet monthly. Uh, I also have a program called Slay Your Schedule. So if you're really struggling with time management and not feeling like you you have your calendar really dialed in to maximize your day, um, that program's killer. And, uh, and then I do one-on-one -on -one, uh, coaching as well. So I'd say just go to my website. It's all up there. And then also on Facebook, I'm Liz Landine. Instagram, I'm Liz Landine, although I don't do that much on Instagram. Uh, yeah. And then, yeah, join the She Connects group. Yeah, you should join it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've actually, I've connected with a few ladies that I've had on the podcast from that group. Yeah, well, that's the power of the group. It really <laughs> is. I, there are so many people that have reached out to me who have said, hey, thanks. I just wanted to let you know I connected with so-and-so who I met through your group. So it's yeah. really a, a powerful tool in your business. Yeah, there are some just amazing, amazing people in that group. And yeah. And yeah, like I, I love that we can connect like this, you know, um, and we've never met. It's all, all online. <laughs> yep. And so it's, it's really awesome to do that. Well, um, if you, you know, wouldn't mind, um, what are some closing thoughts you have? Um, you know, any kind of message you want to tell us? Yeah, well, I mean, since it's rocking your best life, I think yeah. <laughs> my yes. advice would be, uh, and, and really what I, how I try to live my life is to do, do the things that bring me joy and peace and calm mm -hmm. in my life. And I try to focus on that more and more. And I, that really started this past year in 2020 when I, like many people, I think was feeling overwhelmed by just the current state of affairs and everything going on in the world. And so I really tried to just say, I'm, I'm going to try to stop doing things that I know uh, give me anxiety or that, you know, whatever it is are really stressing me out. And I'm going to really try to focus on doing more of the things that I enjoy doing. So getting outside, going for hikes, um, you know, for me, it's, it's nature. It's being outside as much as possible. Uh, we bought a van, so we're converting our van right now. Wow. Uh, and, uh, just trying to get out as much as possible. So I think, you know, that would, that's what I would say outside of what I've already said, which is, mm -hmm. you know, really try to just take a step back, um, get clear on what you want, create a plan of action and start moving it forward, no matter how scary or, uh, you know, messy, it might feel just, just keep moving forward, be consistent, cut yourself some slack, uh, <laughs> that, you know, if you're doing the things you need to be doing and they don't, they don't happen overnight, do not expect things to happen in 30 days or even six months, right? It, it's a commitment, but your dreams are worth it. They are so worth it. And if that means it's going to take a year or two years for you to get there, then, keep fighting for it, keep moving it forward, um, keep doing the things you need to do. And in the process, do more of the things that you enjoy and that you love. That's what I would say. That's awesome. Yes, I completely agree. <laughs> and I gotta <laughs> say, I'm, I'm, I'm always jealous of your pictures. Oh. 
<laughs> well, it did just start yeah. getting warm, warmer here in Colorado, but I know you're over, you're in Vegas. But, yeah, but I've seen your pictures. You've got some good ones, lady. I'm yeah. Hiking and paddle boarding and all oh, that. Yeah. Stuff. Oh, yeah. I just tried that. <laughs> yeah. 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 But keep up the good work, Liz. And um, thanks. thanks. Thank you so much for coming on to my podcast. Um, and I will link all, all of the, um, the ways that people can connect with you. I'll link that in the show notes and your website and all the things. <laughs> Um, thank you. It's been so fun. I really appreciate it.